Hey everyone, welcome to my first video post for 5eurofood.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make chicken liver pate, a great dish to have at Christmas, and the best thing of all, it only costs about 3 euros to make. So, onwards with the show, and I hope you like it. So let's talk a little bit about the ingredients you're going to need to make this dish. First of all, the star of the show, chicken livers. Now these really don't look like the most appetizing thing uh, right now, but uh, once they're all cooked up, they're going to be really good. Next we have one onion, which you need to peel, of course. We have a little bit of butter, just to cook the onion in once it's chopped. Then we have about 50-75 grams of butter, which we add in later. We also have about 2 deciliters of cream, 1 deciliter of port, you're going to need some thyme as well. You can use dried or fresh, but I mean, dried is probably easier, especially at this time of year. And some salt and pepper. I'm going to run down those list of ingredients again, right now, for you to see. And uh, I'll be back in a minute to start making the chicken liver pate. I just want to point out, before we go on, that you're also going to need a food processor, a frying pan, a pretty large frying pan actually, and also one canning jar, like this. Uh, if you don't have this, you can actually just take an old uh, jam jar, or something like that, and just wash it out, and you can sterilize it in the same way. So, uh, yeah, let's go. So you need to start by chopping the onion. Uh, you don't actually need to do it too finely, because actually it's all going to be blended up later. So, just cut it roughly into pieces, pieces like that. And then we can move on to the frying. So once you've heated up the frying pan nicely, you can go ahead and add in the butter. And then just melt that down, ready to put the onions in. Okay, so once that's melting, or melted even, you can add in the onion. And basically you just want to fry this until it's kind of browny, transparent colour. You don't want to cook it too much. So, that's turning a nice brown, kind of glossy colour right now. So what we can do is we're going to add in the, the uh, livers now. So there we go, you can just put them all in. And we're just going to cook those until they're kind of like a browny colour, brown on the outside. Uh, we don't need to worry about cooking them all the way through at the moment. Okay, so that's a really nice kind of brown colour. I mean, of course, they're not going to be done all the way through yet. But they are a nice brown colour on the outside. So what we can do now is we can add in the cream. We can also add in the port, right now. And you can also add in a little bit of thyme, maybe like two, three teaspoons. I personally love the taste of thyme. So you don't really need to be like measuring it out too rigidly. 
Add in a bit of salt and pepper. And give it a good stir around. As you can see, it's boiling quite fast right now. What we want to do is we don't want it to be like that too long. Uh, we just want to lower the temperature to a bit less. And of course, because electric plate stoves like this really aren't good at uh, losing their heat, that's going to take a little while to, uh, to cool down. So we'll just uh, remove it from the heat a second, keep on stirring it around while that plate cools down a bit. So this has been cooking now for about 15-20 uh, minutes. Had it on a little bit higher than I wanted, uh, but it seems to have been thickened up nicely now. Uh, basically you can tell, so let's say you have like everything over the bottom of the pan like this, if you just kind of run the spoon through, if it's leaving like uh, dry lines like that before the uh, uh, before the sauce, before the, the liquid kind of covers it over again, then you can tell that it's just about thick enough for what we need. So uh, when you reach that point, you can just remove it from the heat, and you just need to wait maybe five or ten minutes for it to cool down before we move on to the next step. So once the um, uh, liver pate mix in the frying pan has cooled down a little bit, you can start getting out your uh, food processor ready to blend it up. Uh, you'll also need to, at the same time, start to sterilize the jar uh, which you're going to put it in. You can do this by putting it into a oven. Um, well, washing it out, washing it out first, making sure it's very clean, and then just putting it upside down inside an oven at around uh, 120, 140 degrees Celsius. And if you leave it in there for about 10, 15 minutes or so, uh, you'll find that is an effective sterilization method. So, once you've done that, or once you put the jar in the oven to start doing, uh, you need to transfer the liver pate into the food processor. And you can just uh, kind of slosh it in like this. Okay. And if you remember the butter, uh, which we set aside earlier, just here, then you can also add this in right now. Uh, this is what's going to help keep it, or give it the kind of pate-like uh, consistency once it's cooled down. So you can just put that in there. And just put the lid on then. And then you can just blend it uh, until smooth basically, which will take maybe 30 seconds. After that time you might want to just check that it's looking smooth. Uh, if you see any kind of uh, bits of onion which were like flicked up by the, by the blades or anything like that, just make sure you push that down once again. And uh, let's just give that a couple more seconds. And there we go, I'm just gonna, you can see that's nice and smooth now, still a bit runny, uh, but that's because it's pretty still, it's pretty hot still at the moment. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the sterilized jar from the oven, and we're gonna transfer it. So we're gonna transfer the pate into the uh, sterilized jar, and you can just pour this carefully in there. Just uh, smooth that down nicely. You need to make sure the jar has this little seal on it. There we go. So you can just close that up. Up, 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 up. Uh. 
fill it down and there you go you've made some nice liver patty you just need to wait for it to cool you can uh, don't put it in the fridge yet while it's still warm uh, you can just if you've got like a balcony or something you can put it out there or you can just leave it on the surface just to cool down and when it gets cool just keep it in the fridge and uh, serve it however you like with uh, it goes really well with some nice fresh bread um, you can like, make like a sandwich out of it or anything like that and uh, so yeah I hope you enjoyed it so that was the recipe for chicken liver pate I hope you enjoyed it um, I'd love to hear any feedback if you have any or any tips or anything like that and uh, I hope you can stay and look around the site a bit more and check back again soon for uh, some more recipes Anyway, if I don't see you before, I hope you have a great Christmas, and uh, enjoy the pate.